This problem introduces the concept of the mixing ratio, which was also introduced in problem 129. The mixing ratio is simply an expression of concentration as a function of the volume of the particular species per total volume in parts per million. It's a parts per million um, volume ratio. In problem 29, it defines the mixing ratio as the volume of the species in question at STP divided by the volume of the total gas at STP times 10 to the 6. So in the case of benzene, to solve for the volume of benzene at STP, we need to take the mass of benzene and convert it to moles of benzene by dividing by the molar mass of benzene, 78.11 grams per mole. Now that we have moles of benzene, we can use the conversion factor of 22.4 to convert the moles of benzene at STP to liters of benzene at STP. We'll then divide that by the, the volume of the entire gas at STP. We are given the volume of the gas not at STP as three liters. This is the volume at a pressure and a temperature different from STP. So all we have to do is multiply by the ratio of pressure over temperature in Kelvin, and then convert it into the STP temperature and pressure by multiplying by the ratio of the temperature um, at STP, which is 0 Celsius or 273 Kelvin, divided by the standard pressure, which is 760 Tor, or 1 atmosphere. This then will get us out of the volume at 748 Tor and 23 degrees Celsius and into the volume at STP. Then we simply multiply this by 10 to the 6th, and we get... 9.44 times 10 to the negative 3 parts per million volume. Now to calculate the number of moles of benzene that is present in a centimeter cubed of the entire gas mixture, we simply need to, again, take the mass of benzene and convert it into moles of benzene by dividing by the molar mass of benzene, and then convert the moles of benzene into molecules of benzene by multiplying by Avogadro's number. We'll then divide that by the volume of the gaseous mixture and it does not specify STP here, so it must be the three liters that uh, were sampled. So we'll calculate the molecules of benzene that are present per the volume specified three liters. We can then convert the three liters into centimeters cubed, recognizing there are a thousand centimeters cubed per liter. This then gives us 2.30 times 10 to the 11 molecules of benzene per centimeter cubed of the gaseous mixture. The second part is to do the same thing for toluene. The only difference here is there's a different mass of toluene and a different molar mass for toluene, but the setup otherwise is exactly the same. So we will take the mass of toluene, 153, 10 to the negative 9 is nano, nanograms, converted into moles by dividing by the molar mass, and then multiply by 
22.4 to get the moles into liters at STP. We'll then divide by the volume of the gaseous mixture at STP. And on the tail end, multiply by 10 to the 6th. And we get 1.37 times 10 to the negative 2 ppmv. Now to calculate the molecules of toluene that are present in a centimeter cubed, we'll do what's similar uh, to what we did before. Take the mass of toluene in nanograms, convert it into moles by dividing by the molar mass, and then multiply by Avogadro's number to get the molecules of toluene per the three liters, which we then convert into centimeters cubed by multiplying the three by a thousand, and we get 3.33 times 10 to the 11 molecules of toluene per centimeter cubed of the gaseous mixture.